Hey Jason, um, considering what's happened in the past two years against Vanderbilt, do you guys take a little more extra in preparing for this game? Um, the coach has taught us about this is one of the most important games on the schedule, especially because it's the next game of the season and that they just came to beat us and we we able to beat these guys and we know we can beat them. So we, we, we got that in our head we can do it and do everything we can. Jason, how are you feeling after that loss Saturday? Is, do you think you and the team are getting over that and is there any kind of hangover from Saturday? I mean, it was definitely hard, but I mean, it's in the past now. We got to let that game go and get ready for better build because if we dwell on that game too long, well, it'll be bad for us. So we got to let that go and look for the future. Jason, you were a pretty frustrated guy when we talked to you during camp and I guess now things have kind of turned around. Is it good to know that if you stick with it, that there is no last chance, so to speak, around here? I mean, your chance always come back around, Coach always says. So, I mean, a lot of people I talk to told me to just keep my head up and keep working hard, and everything will turn back around for me. Jason, last week, um, Coach Spurrier talked about um, how there's more pressure on you guys against teams like Kentucky and Vanderbilt than against Alabama. As you get ready for Vandy, are you feeling that pressure this week? Um, I, don't, I don't think anybody's feeling any pressure. We all going out practicing hard. Coach said we were going to have harder practices this week, so we all going out practicing harder and try, everybody trying to do their assignment, play, play assignment perfect football. And that, that's, what, that's what's important. Everybody got to play assignment and not beat ourselves. We can't, can't get Keep getting flags, 15 yard penalties, 10 yard penalties. We got to keep going forward. Jason, you mentioned talking to some people when you were kind of down and everything about just, you know, staying on the letter and everything. Who did you talk to and what kind of conversations were you like? Um, I definitely talked to my parents and I was just asking them, like, what I was doing wrong. I was asking a lot of people what I was doing wrong. So I just didn't know. So, I mean, I talked to a couple coaches from high school. Asked them what I could do, what what they seen from the games that I, I could work on, and they, they always telling me stuff. So I just try to fix everything. How do you feel like the receivers have done overall through seven games, replacing Kenny, replacing Jared? It's kind of been a different guy every week, it seems like, but it's it's kind of worked out. I mean, we we pride ourselves on the game coming down to us. We feel like we're going to have to make plays to win every game this season. So we, we, we work hard every day. We try to catch every pass, come our way, run the exact routes, and make sure we know everything to do in every situation. And we we behind Mo. Mo Mo out there coaching us yesterday. He out there doing everything he can. And he's been coaching us. He's been helping us the whole season. And we're trying to do it for him. Jason, what were the things that you did focus on to get better? Um, my, one of my coaches in high school said that I wasn't blocking very well, so I had to, I had to start blocking him better and kind of get safeties because I wasn't that good at going in there and getting safety. So I try to pride myself on getting safety and not not let my guy make the tackle. Jason, uh, understanding that Vanderbilt has improved, of course, under Bobby Johnson. Is it still weird to be talking about them as, you know, this is a game, you know, we've got to win kind of thing after the last two years? No, not really, because every, every week in the SEC is a chance. You never know what's going to happen. So we, we get ready for every every team. Is it Florida Atlantic or Florida? We, we get ready for the same. Was there something they've they've done the last two years, uh, you know, defensively? I mean, what? What is it about this team that's sort of been a tough matchup? I mean, they got a strong off, a strong defense. And I don't really know too much about the offense, but I know their defense is pretty good. They got a lot of returning, returning starters. So, I mean, we got to look forward to that. Any other questions for Jason? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, Jason, you talked about the fact you talked to your high school coaches and your parents uh, when you were struggling. What did Coach Spurrier and Coach Spurrier Jr. tell you 
that you had to do? Uh, Coach Brad Jr., he, he, was, he was telling me stuff I had to do better, like in film and stuff. Your uh, your thoughts last week when you saw Mo Brown on the ground not moving a whole lot initially? Um, that was a tough moment for me. I was trying to stand right next to him, and I just wanted him. I just wanted him to look at me, but he he said he couldn't even look up. But they said he was talking. I don't really remember him talking too much, but he was real scared for all of us, and we just we really wanted to do good for him after that. Cause it was real hard to see when I see the leader come down.